Hey guys, so today we're going to be um, cleaning up my makeup box again. As you have seen previously, this is my makeup box, everyday makeup box. It's a really handy sort of little contraption. And I'm going to show you how I clean it up and how I remove or add products to it. I'm doing kind of um, a more condensed version of it this time around. It's not going to be as busy as it is normally. So um, let's do it together and I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you how I organize myself with my everyday makeup box. This time around it's not terribly messy actually. It's quite good. There are just a couple of things that I want to remove and get rid of and uh, we can do it together on camera. Let's go. Um, the thing on top here is the Marc Jacobs um, eyeshadow palette. It is a very nice little palette. It is called um, the Lolita palette. It used to be super super popular when it initially released. It's a, a collection of neutrals. I like it for travel. It's handy. It's easy to bring. It's very 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 neutral like um, not cool toned, not too warm toned, probably on the cooler side and just easy to work with. Also this color over here I do tend to use for my brows so when I'm bringing this one I don't need to bring a brow product either. So this one definitely I'll keep around because I'm just finding it so easy to use. The next palette is this lovely Guerlain number. I love Guerlain shadows and this is a, a fat color palette in number 6 Bois de Zingue. Inside we open it to reveal really, really, really neutral colors, um, rosier neutrals basically with another brow color over here. And now that I'm looking at it, I thought to keep both in here, but now that I'm looking at it, they're really, really similar colors. You see what I'm gravitating towards obviously for neutrals. So I think I'll keep the Marc Jacobs one in and uh, move the Guerlain one out. I will keep it though, I'm not decluttering it. I will just switch it out eventually. Then we have a single bronzer that I have here. This is a NARS Laguna Little Mini, which I enjoy. You see that there's a little dippity dip going in on going on here. So I will keep it. I think it's an easy bronzer. I've used up a, a whole big size of it before. So I know this bronzer. I love this bronzer and I'm going to keep it. Then we have this Laura Mercier highlighter a mini that I am also, spoiler, going to keep in here. So this is called Highlighter 01 uh, Matte Radiance Baked Powder. The issue with this guy is the fact that it is so powdery. Oh, you can see what a mess it makes. Um, the good thing about this highlighter is the fact that it's very, very, very pretty. Um, it's quite soft and it diffuses into a very natural, beautiful sheen as you can see here. Um, it is easy to wear. I like applying it kind of all over. If you have dry skin, you know that radiance powders are amazing and I don't necessarily use it as a highlighter. Sometimes I do. I use a small fluffy brush um, like like for instance this one from Lee Swatier. I can use this kind of a fluff brush to apply it as a highlighter. But sometimes I will go ahead and take a bigger, very soft brush and brush it all over the skin. Um, this was a hot photo brush, but I don't know the number if you're interested. So I don't actually use it often as a straight up highlighter. I use it often though as a uh, illuminating finishing powder. So if you have dry skin, I would recommend you try it if you're interested. This is quite a nice little, little nugget of makeup. Then we have a couple of really, really interesting new products actually. So if you are curious about uh, the new um, Chanel Winter Collection. I'm going to show you a couple of really, really good things from there. And the first one, these are, uh, these are single eyeshadows. And not everybody's a fan of single eyeshadows, but I am. Um, so this is En Première. And, uh, and the number is 906 uh, Verlamé. There it is if you're interested in doing a little searchy search. And uh, I am very impressed. These are beautiful. Look at this rich green with golden sheen. It is so, so pretty. It gives off a lot of sheen, gives off a lot of color. You can really layer it up or go quite minimal. There's a little lion in the center of it. These are very, very pretty. This is a good one shadow look if you're interested in sort of daytime to nighttime smoky. This is a good color. Definitely I am keeping this in because I am so curious to use it. And the second one I got too. Um, 
is another beautiful one in 905. And this one I think is a star of the show. And I like combining both of them together as well. But this is crazy. Really, really, really beautiful. And actually works well as a face highlight as well. It is so sheeny with a gold undertone. It's really, 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 really pretty. So out of the two, obviously, I would recommend this one because you can wear it kind of all over. Um, but I really like this too so far. Um, both of them are limited edition for the winter. So if you're interested in either of those, I do suggest you pick them up because they are good. We're having really Chanel heavy video today. Um, this palette is one of my very, very favorites from their, uh, from their regular line. So this you can buy anytime. And this is Le Cat Ombre um, in the color 232 Tissé Beautiful shadows. If you don't like the fact that they're all shimmery, not for you. But generally, these are stunning on the eyes. They wear fairly well. They're not the longest wearing shadows, but they're very, very nice. And I love the color selection. I think it's very elegant and very winter appropriate. So this one will most certainly stay. And the other uh, Chanel product, I think the last one, I think, <laughs> is this guy over here. And this is Jucampas. So this is their blush. I've been using it a lot. It's 99 Rose Petal. And uh, it's a basic winter pink, actually. Like a basic medium pink, really. I really enjoy wearing it, and I, it just goes with everything that I can possibly put on my face. So I'm excited to keep that as well. This is gonna be my designated blush. Then we have this cream duo from MAC. And this is cream color base, and I have two colors here. One is, I think, Luna, and this one is Shell. These are really good products. You can find any color of color base that you can possibly imagine from MAC. I really enjoy these guys, but honestly, I think RMS Beauty does a far superior job with their textures and the ingredients are flawless there. So if you want a highlight, I would go to RMS Beauty and choose one of theirs because they're better. These are nice, but they're not my favorite cream products and cream highlights, but I will finish them up so I will keep them in for now. Oh, good, good, oldie but a goodie. I really like this and I've used up a bit of it, you can see. There's a bit of a fill line and this is Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. My color is 1 and 2, if, ecru, if you're interested. And this is a full on, full coverage foundation. I like this for events. I, it, why is it in my box? Is because uh, this fall I had chicken pox and I had lots more to cover up. And now, honestly, my scars are fading with uh, lots and lots of uh, effort on my part. And this is just too much for me. And it's it's not super drying, but it, it is too much in terms of coverage. It's not something that I pull for every day. So I will move it to my foundation drawer and use it for events rather than every day. It doesn't need to stay here any longer. Yay, bye-bye. Then let's tackle this. Here we have a Lee Swatier um, shadow, cream shadow. And this is a matte cream shadow in a taupey, beautiful color. It's called Top de Dur. Here it is. And uh, I am loving using this thing as a one shadow look for an everyday eye. Um, it wears really nicely. I have no complaints. For now, I'm going to keep it. Then we have a MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. This is my favorite eye base. I haven't found anything within an actual beauty round that is going to surpass the staying power of this guy. If you're looking for staying power on your lids, this is amazing. This is really, really good. Things blend out wonderfully and wear very, very well over it. I am definitely keeping it. Then we have a brow pomade. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills De Brow Pomade in Medium Brown. Um, no introduction is needed. As you can see, I'm really actively using it and I really like it. This is a very long wearing product. It's not my favorite brow pomade. My favorite is the Bloom Beauty one, simply because the ingredients are really, really great. But this beats it in terms of long wear power. So certainly this will also stay. I really, really like it. So I'm wearing currently this particular foundation, which I really, really enjoy. And this is Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Edition Foundation from Laura Mercier. I think very worthwhile foundation, unless you are trying to be much cleaner. Um, this is not my favorite foundation of life, but it is really close. It's really good. The texture is nice. It's spreadable. 
it wears super well and I'm in the color rose ivory it's a perfect color match for me it's difficult to color match myself perfectly and this is one of the foundations that I found it really looks like exactly like my skin tone and the texture is really really smoothing as well so really really liking it and I've been wearing it with the and I've been wearing it with this base from Gemma and this base is the Meteorites Oxygen Care Moisturizer and Radiance Booster. It smells like meteorites. And I have to say this pair is really, really, really flattering on skin. This gives it a little bit more moisture and uh, sheen. It does have sort, sort of like the micro pearls, if you can probably see it within the bottle. Um, it just gives you a bit of glow. So this product is really actually quite similar to the Phyto Illuminating Primer from Juice Beauty, which is my favorite. So I've been super enjoying wearing this combo. They're really good, they're both staying. Okay, let's uh, talk about the pigments. Unfortunately, I'm not really reaching for pigments at all. I have this MAC Vintage Gold loose pigment, which is really pretty, but I have colors that I would rather use, especially, like for instance, that green from uh, Chanel that I just purchased. It has also, it's a darkened green gold, I just, I'm not gonna wear this. Um, I'm gonna pass it on to somebody else. And I haven't been reaching for my Ilamasca pigment, pure pigment in uh, Berber. This is what it looks like. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, product, but it's just messy, so I don't reach for it. I'm gonna pass on both of these. I've tried them, I've kept them in here. It's time for them to be moved on. This shadow from Clinique, I am going to keep. This is my favorite Clinique shadow. It's in 02 Black Honey. Um, one already expired on me and I, I've made a big dent in it and uh, threw it out. So this is a replacement. I've been kind of using it a little bit. This is one of my favorite one shadow look shadows. It's very, very pretty. It's very easy to wear. And uh, just, it's medium pigmentation so you can layer it up to build it up, but it's not going to give you like papam right away. On your um, on your lid because I actually don't want that for every day. I want something that is wearable. And this is really really easy and wearable. Great color keeping. We have this little Stila number, which I have my fingerprints all over, um, and this is a Sunrise Splendor Convertible Color Palette. This is what it is called, and this is what it looks like. Um, Stila are some of my favorite cream colors for cheeks. Today, this guy is on me actually. <laughs> I really, really like this color palette. It's my colors for sure. I wear every single one of them and love them all. Keeping. Here we have a Clinique Chubby Stick and this is Curvy Contour 01. So it's Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour. This is a really, really great um, mainstream sculpting stick. It has less orange and red in it, which is what I like. The color is great, the consistency is great, it's easy to blend out, it's easy to wear, it's easy to use, it's in a stick format. I much prefer this one to the Chanel one, the Soleting de Chanel, and I've used up a previously a whole, um, a whole tub of it, so I, I know that cream bronzer. This is much better. I wouldn't say so much that it's a contour, but it's a fantastic cream bronzer, very easy to wear and apply. I am liking it a lot, and a little goes a long way, so keeping for sure. So this guy, the Meteorites guy, uh, Meteorites Baby Glow Touch, <laughs> this thing, had given me grief for a while. It was in my project pan, and finally I've used it up. So there's a little bit left, but honestly it's a stick, so applying it to cheeks is a little scratchy at this point, and as soon as I hit the scratchiness stage, I give up. So I'm done with this. I'm sure I could like depot it or something like that but it's not worth it for me it's too much trouble and the product isn't like you know the product isn't amazing it's good but it's not fantastic so i am finished with it this is a dunce therefore it's being removed bye bye meteorites finally this is the concealer that i'm currently using this is the benefit boing concealer and this is in the hydrating formula the color is one number one number one um, and I do like this actually. It doesn't have fantastic pigmentation. It won't last on your skin if you have anything but pretty dry skin. Um, I like wearing it on its own really over, over my Guerlain Radiance Booster uh, moisturizer thingy that I just showed you, but I enjoy this. This is fine. I will use it up. I probably won't repurchase it. There's not much in here. So this one is gonna stay. Then we have uh, a 
couple of lip products that I really love and will keep. This is my Dior Lip Glow Pomade. This is what it looks like. It's a really good lip moisturizer, basically. I recently repurchased it, so um, this is a new, new tube, and I like it, and I'm gonna keep it. The same goes for this sugar, or fresh sugar in the color Tulip. This is a tinted lip balm, and this is basically what I wear on an everyday basis. It's kind of pretty poppy pink, um, and for winter I really enjoy sort of fresh pinks on the lips. I think it's really pretty. Fresh pinks or dark colors for some reason, so I will keep that as well. So this is the empty box. Let's organize the everyday makeup in here and uh, just put it back together. Let's go. I hope it was fun for you guys to organize my makeup box with me and I hope you're keeping yours organized as well and pretty and overly cleaner than mine. But that's it for today. Hope you have a wonderful day. Good luck. See you later. Bye bye.